Back here in Houston, we're in the eighth with one man out. John Chambi alongside Chris Singleton here in the booth. Now it's Alex Bregman for the fourth time tonight. Third baseman number two, Alex Bregman. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. And here it comes. And there's a rocket into the outfield. And they hold the runner at third, but the bases are loaded now with one out. Now These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. Now it's Jason Castro. That's the third base hit. One run is in. Save! Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That hits the dirt, and it's two and one. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on, two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. You leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Righty delivers, and that one fouled off. One out, the go-ahead run is at second. Next pitch misses way outside. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. And the right hander deals. Stays alive. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. That one ripped. And it's gone! He'll touch them all. His first homer of the year, it's 8-5. so tough to come in as a pinch hitter and have success. I mean, you really have to keep yourself locked into the game and ready at any time. So it's always impressive to me when someone jumps in there and hits it now out. It's a it. huge lift for your ball club as well. So here comes the big lefty, Aroldis Chapman to the mound. He's into the game with the bases empty. Nico Goodrum up here. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Next offering is in for a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. And down on strikes. Two down. No, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but right certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black. And you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Tucker stands in here, leaves that one down. That's ripped to right down the line. Makes the grab on the run, and that'll do it. Houston brings in three on this homer. Last chance coming up here for the Yankees. So here comes Ryan Presley to the mound. This is his first appearance of the season. The Yankees looking to rally. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. There's a swing and a drive. 
Pulls it in on the warning track. Now batting left fielder Joey. Here's Joey Gallo. Gallo. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. And the pitch. And one and two. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Lifted in the air. Tucker moving under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. Two down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Giancarlo. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. On the ground. Goodrum collects. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Astros even this series up in a game of peace. Back at Yankee Stadium, John Shambi alongside Chris Singleton. Thanks for joining us. We're in the seventh with nobody out. So here's Christian Vasquez. Now batting. Catcher. Christian Vasquez. The pitcher on here. Clay Holmes. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. Play. Your base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. The 0-1. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Next one off the plate inside. Going to count one and two. In the dirt. Blocked. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. Out front and foul to the left side. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Next pitch is popped up. Holmes drifts towards it. One away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath the it a little bit and popped it up. 19. Jackie. Bradley so up next, Jackie Bradley Jr. First offering, and it just misses. Next pitch inside, and the count is 2-0. Oh. In the air, out towards right center. Judge is under it. And there's two away. Now that number five. So the lineup flips over. Enrique Hernandez now at the plate. 
first pitch and he just misses. Next offering way off the plate. Swings and misses. And it's two and one now. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Two outs. Out to short. Connor Falefa gloves it. Tosses to first. Third out. And that ends the frame. One left for the Red Sox. So no change in the score. It's 3-3. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, set for the last half of the seventh. And now Josh Donaldson. Third baseman. Donaldson. The pitch. Foul ball there. That one ripped right center field. Back there. Turning and looking, and it's gone. Josh Donaldson leads the yard, and the Yankees have the lead. It's 4 3. That's an incredible job of letting that breaking ball get deep, trusting your hands, and driving it out the other way. That's how you practice it in the cave. Incredible when you can translate it into the ball game. Here is the young phenom, Glaber Torres. Up the middle, into the outfield, base hit. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Now here is Aaron Hicks. First pitch, and he has to get out of the way. Torres on at first. Nobody out. Next one misses, two and one. This has always been the better side for Aaron Higgs. That one is absolutely belted. That's got a chance. Oh! That'll fire up the dugout, and they boost their lead. It's 6-3. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Jake Diekman. He has a great slider with tons of moving. Well, I think that what makes him so tough against left-handers is he hides the ball for a long time. And from that same side, harder for you to determine which part of the plate it's going to end up on. And that one actually would be grabbed by Story. For you growing up in New York up City, I mean, you're a big sports Look fan. Tell me about your experience with the Yankees growing up. I really went to Shea Stadium more than I did to Yankee Stadium. I grew up a Phillies fan. There was one game, though, that I went to as a kid. I sat in the upper deck. It was the game that Bo Jackson hit three homers in his first three plate appearances and then hurt a shoulder diving for Deion Sanders inside the park home run. That's probably the most memorable game that I ever attended as a fan at old Yankee Stadium. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. The pitch. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Anthony Rizzo stepping in now for the Yankees. With that kind of velocity and elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. 
Swing and a slow roller. Dahlbeck steps on the bag, and that'll do it. We go to the eighth. Now it's Devers at the plate. The wind of the pitch. There's a strike. No, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Swing and a pop up. And Devers is set down. And a quick out, number one. Now and here comes Sander Bogarts. Bogarts, who wears that number two on his back for his idol, Derek Jeter. Kicks and deals. Foul ball. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Two up, two down here at the top of the eighth. Now and Martinez. The designated hitter. And he grounds one to the right side. On to first. That ends the frame. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth here at Kazu Sawamura. And he'll do his best to keep this close. The wind of the pitch. Judge swings through one there. Now, this is just par for the course these days. Huge fastballs coming out of the bullpen. Next pitch misses outside. And that's ball one. And Judge spoils that one. It's so hard to slow yourself down when you see that juicy breaking ball, but the most success happens when you try to take that right back up the middle approach. Righty to the plate. And down on strikes he goes, and one gone. Well, oh, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Verdugo moving under this one. He's got it. And there are two outs. Now Two outs, base is empty. Giancarlo Stanton stepping in now for the Yankees. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Activity in the bullpen. Darwin's in Hernandez. Appears to be getting loose. Strom getting cranked up as well. Next pitch misses. Now one and two. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Stan started after it. Tried to hold up. Now a look to first. No swing. He held up. Darrell Parker with the call there. The pitch. And it's filled up. And a pitch. Up the middle. Story sends it over to first. And that's the third out. One, two, three, go the Yankees. As they're unable to add to their 6-3 lead. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. And stepping in for Boston, Alex Verdugo. Now time called. Pitching coach Alex. coming out for a meeting as two relievers continue to throw in the bullpen. Aroldis Chapman comes in to take over. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. That's in there. Strike one. On the ground at first. 
He'll do it himself. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Here's Trevor Story. Second base. Trevor Story. And there's a foul ball. One down, base is empty. That one fouled off. At the belt and finals. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Two up, two down. Just overmatched on that fastball right there, and it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed now, earlier in the at-bat. He came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. Dahlbeck takes a strike there as he stands at the plate now. Only two now. And a foul ball. And now the lefty. And ball one. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. Two down, nobody on. And that's outside. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Next pitch is inside, and it's three and two. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Just one out away, trying to close it out. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. The show has an AL East matchup. It's the Toronto Blue Jays going up against the New York Yankees. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Well, it's time for our player spotlight singing. Glaber Torres is a player to watch for this team this year. He sure is, Boog. And even though he's already looking like a key contributor, he's still a young player. But most people around this organization think he's going to keep getting better and better. And I expect him to take a leap forward in his development this season. He could make a big difference for this team. So I'm excited to watch him play live in this one and see what he's got. One out, base is empty. Santiago Espinal will hit next. Batting second, the second baseman. Santiago. Bunting for a hit. Espinal. Rizzo. And they put the tag on him for the out. Batting third, the first baseman. Back now in the Bronx, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the second baseman, Glaber Torres. The second baseman. Labor. And it's fouled away. Torres. Here comes a pitch. Up the middle, into the outfield, base hit. Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. On the ground, the third might be two. Biggio over to second, relay to first, double play. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. Left hand batter waits. Lays down a bunt to the right side. Rizzo. Save! Now the number two hitter, Santiago Espinal. Kicks and fires. Roll to short, could be two. There's one. And he'll be safe at first. So two down, and it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. And he's already singled in this game. 
swing and a line drive caught. We head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Blue Jays four and the Yankees two. Here is the young phenom, Labor Torres. Now back, second baseman, Labor. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. Ground ball left side. They get the force, and that is the inning. Man at first with one gone, and here is Alejandro Kirk. Here's a one two. Rolled to short, possible two ball. One at second. Welcome back. Labor Torres up to the plate. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Just missed. Looking at Torres, have to say, he's one of the most impressive young players I've seen in recent years. Well, no question about it. His future is very bright. The city, the organization, both are excited about him. He has a lot to look forward to. Next offering is fouled back. The one two off the outside edge and now the count is two and two Torres checks his swing now it appeal to first no swing he held up Carl Dixon with the call there but why to kick the pitch the punch out there so he's gotten deep into this game and at least so far, not sure. Back here at the ballpark, here's the second baseman, Santiago Espinal. The, second baseman. the pitch. Santiago. On the ground. Torres over to first. One up, one down. Labor Torres up to hit. Now back, second baseman, Labor Torres. The lefty, the 1 0. And yeah, there's a the ball. Now, this guy's definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Guriel handles the chance. And Glaber Torres retired. All set to start the ninth in this one. And yeah, the batter now, Lourdes Guriel Jr. The left field. On the ground, right side. That's a hit. Chris, we talked about him earlier, so let's circle back. Glaber Torres with a bit of a pedestrian game at the plate. Well, Book, he did have the one hit, so that's good. And I know he wasn't a major factor in this one, but I feel confident that this guy's going to be just fine. And you, you can't make the highlight reels every night. Uh, there are going to be some bad games. There'll be some bad nights. But, you know, he's going to have his good days as well. I guarantee it. John Chambi alongside Chris Singleton. We'd like to welcome those just tuning in on the show for a live look in. You're right on time. Kyle Higashioka will bring the middle of the order to the plate oh, here the in the ninth. The Down just a run. Back here in Detroit with Chris Singleton. I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us. Ninth inning here with one away. Sends it to first. Quick recovery from the misplay pays off for the out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. 
Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. And first offering is fouled off with a single base runner because of all the power. They are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead to the right side. On the first, ball game. And the Tigers hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one Back here in New York, John Chambi alongside Chris Singleton. Thanks for joining us. We're in the seventh with nobody out. The Yankees are holding their own so far this season. But, Singy, that might be below expectations for this group. Yeah, they had some heavy expectations coming into the year. And so far, they've been around the 500 mark. Not exactly lighting the league on fire. And a pitch. A swing and a miss as he chases way out of the zone. And a pitch. Got him. And that's the first out. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Hit on the ground might be two. To second, there's one on a Mount Castle. It's a double play. Ready to begin the eighth. Standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Rubnet Odor. That's a strike. One one. It's still early though, so they've got plenty of time to kick it into high gear and justify those expectations. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Deal two. And a foul ball. And he deals. Line drive. Caught. Kelvin Gutierrez. The next to hit for the Orioles. Kelvin Gutierrez. Next pitch has popped up. Rizzo right there to make the grab. And a couple of quick outs. Robinson Chirinos now up to hit. In there and it's 0-1. Now just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Tyler Wells trying to protect this lead. Gallo in the box now. Takes a cold strike. And now the count is even. Movement in the Orioles' bullpen. Cole Sulcer up and loosening in the pen. Fry warming up as well. They say it went. Strike three, got him swinging. And one out now. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth the inning. Down one, any Young leadoff Carlo. base runner really makes this inning That's a bit him. more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. Yeah. 
on a line base hit. Just a huge at bat right there. Kind of an interesting okay. pitch selection there with the defense the shifted base. to the pull side. The pitch is on the outside corner, and that made it pretty easy for him just to punch it the other way. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Substitution now at first base. On a pinch run, Tim Locastro. Here's Josh Donaldson. First pitch just misses. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Right-handed reliever. That's a strike with a single base runner because of all the power. They are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Move over to first. Try to keep it close. Another throw over. And he's back again. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. 1-1 one, one now. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. And the righty deals. Check swing. No appeal. Three and two now. Pickoff throw. Locastro gets back easily. The pitch. Locastro on the run. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Walks out of the bullpen can absolutely kill your now momentum very quickly. They're in some hot water Lager. trying to protect this lead. Here is the young phenom, Labor Torres. Next offering is down low. Ball one. Well, this is a critical spot for both the pitcher and the hitter. You can learn a lot about a guy by how he handles these pressure situations. Righty delivers. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. That misses. And the count is three and one. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at bats and the biggest one he's had so far. He doesn't look anxious at all. Now front pulls that one foul. Now it's three and two. One out. The possible tying and go ahead runs on base. The three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots now like this. Make the team earn their way. Aaron. Aaron Hicks stepping in now for the Yankees for the fourth time tonight. Into center. Mullins on the move. Full extension makes the catch. Throw is offline and he scores. Tie ball game 4-4. Four, four. This dive wasn't the result of a bad route, Singy. The only reason he made the play is because his route was so good. No doubt, Boog. StatCast tells the same story. I mean, he got to a spot as quickly as you can possibly get there, and he had to in order to have a chance at that diving play. Just special. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Orioles, Joey Crable. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. First offering misses the mark. Kiner Falefa. The next pitch misses. Ball two. Donaldson, the lead runner out at second. Torres at first, two out of the inning. Tied to four. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Left field, way back there. And that one hops the wall. 
Hayes fires it in, so no advance beyond third as they don't want to test the strong arm and left. Kyle Higashioka stepping in now for the Yankees. One for two. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. And the pitch. Check swing, but he went too far. And that is strike two. Two on, two outs. Got him. Good job of damage control right there. Through eight full, it's the Yankees five and the O's four. In the background is a blow. Back in New York, here's the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. And here it comes. The There's a strike. Well, at bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. Jack Green ready to go. This is his fifth appearance of the year. Well, he's having an excellent season so far. ERA is under two. A lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. 0 oh, and 2 now. And now 1 and 2. That's a really good take. Here's a 1 2. That one lifted to left. Gallo in position, calls it in, and there's one away. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. And fouled off. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Next offering is in for a strike. That big curve inside is a pitch that can buckle you a little bit. Looks like a fastball out of hand and then just drops over that inside part of the plate. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Anthony Santander at the plate. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One run game here at the top of the ninth. Slapped foul. And he hits a ground ball right side. Loves it on the dive. And what a play! Ball game. Nice job to pick up the win in this one. That has them moving in the right direction. Well, yeah, Boog. I mean, you pretty much always feel good about the games you win. And this could help them jump up a little bit. Build some momentum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 